How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining. Welcome back. So today I thought I would go ahead and do a haul video with you guys. First thing I got Sephora was I did get the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay. But I did end up getting this and I have been wearing it quite a bit. I, I think what I'm going to do because I have several palettes that I purchased that I haven't really gotten to um, really do too much with like a review or anything so some of the palettes I think what I'm going to do is do some get ready with me's and um, do something like that in with that um, also I did get, this is smaller than what I was hoping for but I guess I should have known because is this this is two ounces but it's the living proof curl defining styling cream I had a sample of this before and I really liked it. So I went into Rite Aid and I just, I got um, some uh, razors. I got some razors because that's what I needed. But of course you know how it is, you get sidetracked or maybe you don't, I don't know. But I always get sidetracked because I always find my way of going to where the makeup beauty stuff's at. And um, so I'm gonna check it out. I did get this the coverall primer from wet and wild i do have the um foundation the coverall foundation which i'm wearing this and the foundation and i'll have to i have to say so far um i'm impressed with this it's really um you know did good to cover up the pores and the fine lines and everything um, it doesn't feel too dry because I was a little bit worried like is it mattifying or anything like that But so far so good and then also from wet and wild. I ended up getting one of the lipsticks uh, This one is in What is this raven raisin? Yeah, I think this is one of their mattes It's a really pretty color. I really like that um, I had seen other people swatching it and I thought it was just right up my alley. So I got the red shade that I wanted to in the Star Wars collection. Um, I did get the nude color so I wanted to get this one here. It's number 30. It's funny because I'm finding the Star Wars collection stuff and I know some people have been having a hard, hard time with it and I'm kind of like finding them. This is a beautiful red berry color. I thought it would just be gorgeous. It would be really pretty for even in the summertime, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. It has like a metallicness to it also. So right there it is. And I do love the CoverGirl lipsticks. I think they're so underrated. I don't hear a lot of people talking about these CoverGirl lip perfections a lot. I even did a video on the CoverGirl lip perfections, and I really like them. All right, so Milani, I am placed an order um, on Milani. I'm not sure. I'll have to look to double check, but last I had seen what made me go ahead and place an order was the rose um, blushes. I have the, um, the last two sets that came out, um, and I had noticed on the site that they had the very first ones that came out, the first ones, the first four, the limited edition ones. And because they went they went so fast, they went like hotcakes. They were out the door. I, I mean, nobody, everybody complained they couldn't get them. And it was just really hard to get a hold of them. So the first one is in, it's the number three warm petals. And it's crazy because yeah, these ones here just went so fast. This one's more of a bronzy shade and it does have some kind of some, oops, some shimmer to it. I don't know if you're really going to see the shimmer though. Um, so there's, that's warm petals. Right there. The other one's uh, Bella Rosa, number four. And this one is a very nice, um, this one's a very nice soft pink shade. And it's a matte. The bronze one has more shimmers in it. This is definitely a matte shade, but it's like a baby, baby pink. 
and it's right on this finger here. And right there it is. And a lip liner and lipstick that I'd seen, and I wanted to try the lip liner anyway. And it's perfect shade for me. It's actually almost close to my natural lip color. This one's gonna work out really great. It's in number four, all natural. And it's one of these kind, just the pencil itself. Um, it's It goes on really nice. I like it a lot, actually. So right there's the shade, all natural. And then I did get the all famous, um, a lot of people talk about this one here, Nude Cream. This is just from their regular lipsticks. It's a nude cream. It's not from the matte collection or anything like that. But it's nude cream. A lot of people seem to really like this shade. So, right there it is, right there. It's really pretty. Really pretty color. My husband went ahead and got me a couple of lipsticks one day he was out. He knows me in lipsticks, so, and knows how much I love them. So, he got me, I think these are both from the L'Oreal Infallible Collection, just one has different packaging than the other one. Um, I'm not sure which one's the new one kind of packaging, but I think they're both the L'Oreal Infallible. 112 Unending Kiss. And here's the shade. I did put this on. It's a very pretty shade. They do go on rather not as pigmented um, <clears throat> on the lips, and they do go on uh, rather nice and uh, moisturizing and shiny though So I mean I know like right there you can see it and it looks You know pretty pigmented but on the lips unless because it's maybe it's kind of close to my lip color Maybe that's why because I didn't wear the other one yet. And then this one's in a peach color. It's 423 Perpetual, perpetual peach or something like that We hear you Simon there's that one there, the peach. And right there it is there. So that's the peach shade. And then next is Alta. So this is uh, from Bliss. Uh, yeah, Lemon and Sage Soapy Suds Body Wash and Bubbling Bath. It's from the company Bliss. So anyway, the next item I want to talk about is the Tree Hut uh, body scrubs that I gotten from Alta. I have to say, these ones are my most favorite that I've ever used. And in my Walmart, they do have them, but they only have like a couple scents. So, and my favorite scent actually so far, um, I know there's several different scents out there. But my favorite scent is the Brazilian Nut because it smells like caramel. I just love the Brazilian Nut. And those are what they look like but they were buy one get the other one for 50 percent off so i went kind of a little crazy i got two of the brazilian nuts so bought one and got one for the half off and then i got i never tried this one here but it smelled really nice it, it's hawaiian kukai is that how you would say it i'm guessing the way it looks kukai kukai or something like that but it's this one here and this one, I'm trying to remember what it even smells like because I just know I, oh, you know, it has a florally fresh scent to it is what it has. It just smells really nice. The other one I got was uh, pomegranate in a kai. Is that a kai or is that how you pronounce that? This one smelled really nice, so... Yeah, this definitely has a fruity scent. It smells really nice too. The next thing I got was one of my Mario Badescu orange cleansing soap in there. I don't know how well you'll see that, but I love the orange cleansing soap. Uh, this is actually my third bottle and it removes the makeup great, has a nice scent. 
Um, it doesn't lather up like real sudsy or anything. It's more of a creamy kind of a, of a uh, cleanser. I love this stuff. This is my third one of this one too. It's the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And I love spraying this like anytime I feel like it's a nice mist. I always get, do one and go like three spritzes and it feels so nice. It smells so nice. If you don't love the rose scent, then you probably won't like it. Any kind of rose water you probably won't like if you don't like rose scent, but very hydrating on the skin. I like doing it like right after I cleanse my skin and maybe do a toner or maybe I use this as my toner. I'll spritz this on and then apply my moisturizers and everything else on. Um, I'll spritz it on like how I just did now, like if maybe I feel like I need a little more extra hydration or anything like that. Okay, and then on to some makeup, which let me just say, my first time in Ulta, I was like overwhelmed, but I'm sure everybody gets overwhelmed. My Ulta is not the big Ulta, it's a smaller one, so I can only imagine the bigger one. Um, but they did have uh, just, you know, uh, so many brands that I really love, so... It worked out really good because I seen Tarte there, I seen Lorac there, I seen Mally there, I seen Largello there. One of the drugstore items I got, which they had uh, NYX there, um, and I got one of the Prism eyeshadows. Uh, this one's in Fireball, which I do have it on my eye. It's like uh, just a little bit over here on the end here, so I do have that on my eye. And it is a very beautiful color. I can see why so many people are loving these. And I probably will get some more. It's a really pretty shade. And it glides on really nice. So I have that on my eyes. And this is from Miss Cavalier 01, Colleen. She was just doing a haul just not long ago, things that she got and bought. And it is one of the high voltage lip sticks, which I have that on right now. It is called Flutter Kiss. And it is of a neutrally brown shade, kind of. And that is what I have on. I'm actually liking it. Right there it is. And that's Flutter Kiss. So the next drugstore item, and oh, there were so many things I could have, I could have went bonkers in there. Let's just be real. I mean, I could just went bonkers. But I did want to pick up one of the new L'Oreal eyeshadows um, that are out. These are the Color Rich eyeshadows. And I believe this one's in Sunset Sienna or something like that. I think that's what it says. It's like down around here, the name. I thought I'd just give it a try. Not sure how well you'll see there. And they feel very nice and soft and buttery. So that's the Sunset Sunset Sienna. I think that's how you say it. And it's right. It's right there really pretty shade. Alright, to a little more on the higher end, I got me a Mally. Had to go there. I got me a Mally, uh, one of her Evercolor Shadow Sticks. I love her Evercolor Shadow Sticks. I, I think they're the best shadow sticks out there on the market. My opinion, I, I just think they're the best. So this one is called, what is it called again? Angel Shimmer is what it's called. And that's what I have on the inner part. And I worked it halfway in and then met it with um, the fireball. So on the inner part that you see in here in my eye, is the angel shimmer and then I worked in fireball with it and this is a shade I didn't have I have a whole bunch of hers but this is one I don't have so there's angel shimmer this would be perfect for the um, you know 
inner corner area for sure. But it's a very brightening one too. Very brightening eyeshadow. Right there it is. And it's a pinky, pinky, nice pinky shimmer. It's really pretty. Love it. The Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss. I haven't tried the lip gloss, but I have tried the lipsticks. I do have, I have three shades from the lipsticks, and I really like them a lot. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get the Alter Ego Lip Gloss and give them a shot. So when I was in there, I was swatching them. I think I might get a couple more shades because Goddess is my favorite in the lipstick color. So I think I'd like to get Goddess in one of these. But I wanted to get a different shade just to give it a go. And this one's called the CEO <laughs> shade. And these smell really nice. I have that vanilla scent. So really nice packaging um, from the rock. Mmm, has that wonderful vanilla scent. Um, where am I going to put it at? I'll put it right here. But they're rather pigmented for a gloss. And that's what got me with it. Right there it is. That right there is CEO. Really pretty. I'm going to put this on top of my lipstick. I, they feel really nice. Oh, I like that. If you don't like sticky, you'll like these because they're not sticky at all. Mm. Yeah, I like that one. So it's of a pink brown, but it's more of the darker pink brown. So I really like that. And one of the last things I got was Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. I think everybody's been raving and raving and raving over the Gilded Honey and her Gelato Illuminator. I have actually tried, because I have her Gelato Blush. I've had it for a while now. I have the one in Rose Water, which is gorgeous. I love the Rose Water one. It's such a beautiful pinky tone rose pinky tone it is gorgeous so i thought i'd go ahead and get um get this a try because and the other thing is i felt like because like i have the gelato eyeshadow and it's a caramel i think it's in caramel shade so i kind of had a good thing that i would probably like this anyway my opinion my opinion i really feel like Laura Geller knocks the blushes and things like that out to the ballpark. Like, I really love Tarte as well, but I feel like Laura Geller just ups the whole thing for me a little bit. And it is a really pretty, really pretty highlight. Right there it is there. So anyway, beauties, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you guys. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button uh, down below and you can join me each week. I am going to have videos up each week. Also, beauties, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that very much. And it would get my videos out there a little bit more. Um, as I said, I am working to getting closer to my 1K mark. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Bye-bye.